when you hook up with Judah, not only do you produce Perez, the breach, the cut off, or the divider, not only do you produce Herod's shield, but then you produce Carmine. The name Carmine means vine dresser or harvester. Because when you produce Carmine, the vine dresser, a vine dresser harvests that which he did not only plant. Okay. Understand, people of God, when you praise, when praise produces carmine, it simply means you have grace or the word we have uses favor. And when you have the favor of God over your life, God's put you in a season to harvest. That's what you did not necessarily deserve, but he put you in a season to be blessed by folk who don't even like you. You ever been blessed by somebody that you know for a fact don't even like you? You ever had somebody bless you real good and they don't even know why they blessing you it's because when you came into the house of God Christian Tabernacle and praise happened, uh, you stepped into praise uh, and you didn't let Judah bypass you, but you said, Judah, I need a financial blessing. And so Judah said, because you lifted your hand, because you're praising me, I'm going to produce on the inside of you, karma. And because you produce inside of you, karma, guess what? Somebody else planted your blessing and God allows you to go into the vineyard when your enemy has planted all of your blessings uh, and he allows you to pluck up the blessing uh, watch this that your enemy thought he was planting for himself you ever been around people uh, who thought that they done got a promotion on their job for themselves it was only to be a blessing to you my sister watch this because sometimes God gotta use your very enemy to be your blessing When God understands, understand people, God, when praise produces common, it simply means you have grace or the word of favor. And so it is not only do you produce common when you look up with Judah praise, but then you also able to produce her. This is where the whole house should be giving God praise. Because her means noble or liberty. In other words, when you have liberty, that means you have freedom. The Bible says, John 36, who whom the Son has set free is what? Free me. Okay, y'all still sitting there? <laughs> That's when you should have went crazy because you have been bound by some stuff. But yet you can stand up and testify today in this place that I'm free. That every chain, everything that had me bound because I learned how to praise. And because I learned how to invite you to in, he produced on the inside of me and he produced her. And is there anybody in the house glad that you produced her on the inside because if the devil would have had his way, you still be bound to your past. But is there anybody in the house plan? You serve the kind of God that no matter where you were, no matter what stuff you were in, he was able to free you from all of your sins. And watch this. Some of the people you slept with, he freed you from. You ought to understand. It's all because when you came into the house of God and you praise God, God says, watch this. I'm not going to let no Negro or no Negro ain't keep you bound. But I'm going to free you. I'm going to let you come. Because they're stopping your praise. They're stopping your worship. They try to cut off your anointing. But the devil is alive. I'm almost done, Bishop. I ain't got much left. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. So he's had He says, watch this. Judah produces fair as Hezron Caramon. But he also produces Shobal. Oh, have mercy. The name Shobal means embrace of corn, wanderer, traveler, pioneer. Understand at the time of this text, there was no money systems in place, so they would use a system of barter and trader. And corn was used by the wealthy as a form of currency. And all I'm trying to tell you is when you hook up with Judah, praise produces showball, it is then that God makes ways out of no way. You trying to figure out why you're stuck. And you looking at everybody else and saying, I wish they hurry up and sit down. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. 
I wish she stopped playing the keyboard <laughs> so they can sit down. Can I tell you something? You should never allow the devil to stop your prayers. I'm done. And I stopped by here. Driving 45 minutes. Tell somebody when the enemy comes in like a flood yes, and try to kill your anointing and destroy your destiny. You got to get to the place and reach down on the inside of you and pull out your weapon. You may not have a 22. You may not have a 9 millimeter. You may not have a sawed off shotgun. But you may not have the weapons of mass destruction. But what I stopped by to tell you is you got praise. And I stop out of here to tell you when you get into a position in your life and it seems like the enemy is wreaking you havoc. Okay, Tom Tom, let's get ready to ride. We're saddled up now. When the enemy is coming in and seems like he's trying to rip you and cause havoc in your life, you need to reach way down on the inside of you. And with all of your energy you got left, you need to learn how to pull out your weapon. You need to learn how to pull out Judah, pull out your brains. Because praise is your weapon. Is there anybody in the house? Come on, Christian sinner. Glad you serve a God who don't mess around. You serve a God that will allow you to come into the house even with your head and you don't know you done left home with a hellious husband. You don't have left home with a hellious wife. But you're able to make your way into the house of God. And all I can do when I get here, y'all talking wild in the sanctuary, but I need God to do something. I need God to move on the inside of me. I need God to straighten up some stuff back at home. And I ain't come to play no games, but I came to give them praise. And I stopped by the situation, struggle after struggle. But I tell them at Christian Center, I got 99 problems. But praise is not one of them Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus And all he's done for little old me I get excited I want to give him praise David says Enter into his gates with thanksgiving Enter into his courts with praise Be thankful unto him And bless his name Do I got any praises in the house? Because praise Praise will make you free. Praise will cause things to turn around. I know you're going through, but as you lift up your hands and give God praise, praise will produce what's on the inside of you and bring healing, bring deliverance, bring restoration. Give God praise. If you really believe, praise will produce. Is there? Is there? Anybody? Glad you serve a God that no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad it seems, but you serve a God that will turn things around. You serve a God that no matter how hard the situation seems like it for you, but I serve a God who can manage and mass destruction. He can destroy anything.